I mean, coverage tonight of trouble inside City Hall. The City of Columbus employee who provided help to the Chinese businesswoman who bought Mayor Michael Coleman's house is now facing disciplinary charges. Well, Bob Shea is accused of going outside the scope of his duties during his work hours. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart has been reviewing the documents and has tonight's update. Bob Shea faces disciplinary charges for alleged violations of city work rules, including dishonesty and misuse, abuse, or destruction of property. Shea has been an exemplary employee, according to his personnel file, and earlier this year, his supervisor wrote that Shea is very good at keeping me up to date on where he is and what he's working on. But the city's disciplinary notice says some of Shea's activities were conducted without authorization from his direct supervisors or anyone in the Department of Development or the mayor's office. At issue is whether Shea went too far in helping Kiwan Lee, the Chinese businesswoman who bought Mayor Michael Coleman's former home in Berwick. It is Shea's job to help develop new business operations, but records show Shea also helped Lee with private business matters. The FBI is investigating allegations of corruption at Columbus City Hall and subpoenaed city records about Lee, who paid $520,000 for the mayor's house in 2010. Coleman has said he never requested any special assistance for Mrs. Lee. Documents show, though, that Shea was in regular contact with the mayor's office, and Coleman did write letters on Lee's behalf trying to expedite her requests for temporary visas.